<laughs> you know, feeling, um, it's talking. You know, sometimes I feel like everything in the world affects me and I haven't got much, uh, you know, it's like everything, like even small things are seem to take a big chunk out of me. So that's what I call feeling porous uh, and wanting connection. Um, wanting human connection. I mean, oh, like I can say, I don't, I, don't want, I don't want human connection myself. But I think there's nothing <laughs> wrong in uh, wanting human connection. Um, but... Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, one thing I think you know for me, I I'd like being uh, I like being in the company of people who have a good spiritual connection. Yes, that's true. And dislike being around people who've done no spiritual work and have got a disconnect. So I can understand it in that nature. Um, but uh, uh, if I'm feeling porous, I mean sometimes it's okay. Even you can be very spiritually advanced and you can be hit by a lot of karma in a short period of time. And that's not necessarily because um, you're bad. It's just like uh, sometimes, you know, the universe expects you to, to pay off a lot of karma and the, time, and the due date is now. Um, sometimes that can be because you've done a lot of spiritual work and you're now eligible uh, to undo that karma now. Um, so sometimes when you do spiritual work, you get a, a reprieve and then you get hit by a lot of things. Um, my, my rock bottom was very much due to ego inflation when I got the kidney failure. I was acting out on my ego mechanisms addiction, which led to death. And so there's, a, there's an urgency to find the truth. You know, find the truth now or die. That's different. And you've got to find the truth quickly or you perish. But I, I think, you know, Hawkins said it really nicely. When you're facing life and death and you haven't got much time, that usually gives the consciousness extreme ability to do spiritual work, which it wouldn't normally do under other circumstances. I know I've found that to be true. In excruciating pain, if I'm given a spiritual tool that will get me well, I will do it like a maniac. And I would, if I was feeling quite happy, I wouldn't do that level of spiritual work. So all you need to do is find something that's true and will work. And I really wanted God to show me the pathway, and God did. I met my teacher, Dr. Hawkins, who'd recovered. And I knew uh, through my spiritual experience he was a teacher of truth, 100%. I still stand by that for myself. And so I did everything he said. He's got some lovely books. Uh, Healing and Recovery is a very nice one for physical ailments. Um, yeah, I think Healing and Recovery is one of the good. And he's got things on health in there and cancelling beliefs. And he's got some stuff on Audible on health as well. There's, a, there's an audible thing on healing, which is like eight pounds. But I basically did exactly what he did. And I did it 100%, like the Course in Miracles, every day, religiously. And, um, and then cancelling my beliefs, and then feeling out my feelings and the symptoms, 100%. I did it like my life, my life did depend on it. And the miraculous happened. I'm living testimony of his work, that it worked 100%. So less to, you know, and I took the doctor's things and cancelled that as well. So, and then that, most of that left. So, uh, so what am I talking Oh, porousness. So porousness is, um, it can be because karma is hitting me. But then what karma is hitting me? Is it relationship karma? Is it work karma? Then I want to cancel my beliefs or do the anti-karma prayer on whatever the karmic stuff. So I can only be porous if there are very, either feelings, strong feelings are coming up or I'm being hit in the face with certain types of karma. It could be work related or, or romantic related, or whatever it is, or, or family related. So then I've got to dissolve the meaning of that. You know, because um, when I, if, if a family member is very meaningful, or if a work situation is very meaningful, I have to dissolve it as quickly as possible so I don't track it. Because when my ego is tracking externals, I will become disconnected very easily. You know, so basically a boss should be able to scream in my face and I should, I should have no effect on me. If a boss is screaming in my face and threatening to sack me, I'm feeling porous. It's because I've projected a lot of meaning around that. So I have to clear the data. Uh, so I cancel my belief, my, uh, boss's voice is meaningful, or my boss's scream is meaningful. I cancel my, I cancel my belief that uh, being fired is, is my source. I'm an infinite being. 
I cancel my belief uh, in projecting magical qualities on my job. If it's a family member, you know, let's say a family member is um, suffering, but if I'm tracking the suffering, I'll become porous. You know, because if I'm going into like, okay, like, uh, or uh, you know, my father has got cracked ribs and I'm feeling very porous, then I, uh, you know, God did not create crack, uh, my father with cracked ribs, so it's not real. I can't my belief my father has got cracked ribs. I'm an infinite being. I'm clearing that data because if I track something as being meaningful or traumatic, I'll become porous very easily. If I've suddenly got an overwhelm of feelings because my boss is screaming at me or, or my father is dying in hospital and the feelings are coming up, I'll sit with those feelings and feel them out. Because if I hold those negative feelings and I'm tracking very meaningful data, belief systems in my consciousness, then my level of consciousness will drop and then everything in the world will hit me very easily. You know, someone will say something and I'll feel disconnected. So I have to get my vibration up. So let go of the energy of the feelings and also cancel beliefs. My thing is, um, people may say like, oh, that's heartless. You know, making my, no, I, you know, like I remember, you don't have to do it, but I found that when canceling what I see as negative in other people, they've actually benefited. You know, if, I, if, if my mother's had like swollen legs and I said, God did not create oedema in my mother's legs, so as to delete that data from my consciousness, I've actually saw the other people benefit from deleting the data. Um, so you don't. Um, otherwise, people may. Uh, you're, what you're doing is you're clearing karma on behalf of others. Sometimes, if it's karmically permissible, sometimes not always karmically permissible for that to happen. Uh, so that's how I deal with human connection. Well, you know, human connection for me. Uh, I don't usually like using that language in human connection, but um, everything is, you know, it's like when you connect with someone, it depends on their level of, of, of either their connection to source or their level of separation. You know, like I wouldn't want to connect to an axe murderer who's going out because they're, they're in extreme separation. So they're, they're cut off from the source of love. So, um, whereas, you know, if, if Buddha was in town, you know, like Buddha's giving a talk in alternatives tomorrow at, at six o'clock, then I'll be out there. But I'm not really wanting to connect to his human side. I'd be more wanting to connect to his uh, spiritual side than the idea of connecting to him as a human, like, uh, you know. So I'd want to benefit from his spiritual evolvement as opposed to Thing. But I, but it's a natural thing and it's fine. But I do find that the relationships I have with more spiritual, spiritually advanced people are more enjoyable than the less spiritually advanced people, uh, personally. Um, so I don't know if that was... Yeah, so porous, you know, my vibration is low if I'm porous. So I have to clear the karma, clear the data and, and take out the feelings and get my vibration up as fast as possible. And then I'll feel immune.